What's good, people? We are back. Couple drop is here, but we've got a little spin on it this time. Palace have recently released their SS18 collection, so we're going to go through it all and let you know what we're going to cop and what we're going to drop. Not going to go through the whole thing because there's like 100 odd pieces. It's going to take a minute. Let's be honest, you don't want to be watching me for an hour. Anyway, let's start off with the jacket. So we're going to start off with this P Tex jacket. Mm, not a bit of me. Rave Revival is still going strong at the moment, but I'm going to give it a down. It's a bit too garish. It's coming in like three colorways, but yeah, it's a bit dead. Next up on the jacket front, we have the Q Bomber coming in three colorways. Really like the slogan that they put through. It's like, don't judge a book by its cover. Judge a kebab shop by its chili sauce. It's a nice life motto. Going to give this one an up. Got a quilted bomber. Got a little palace on the neckline as well. Absolute banger in my opinion. First up of the season. So this was one of the highlights for me from their lookbook when they released it. We're looking at the Pigment Mac, particularly the pink version. And Palace may have sent shots for Gosha Rybczynski as well. In their little slogan, they put Rasvier or Pakbet, cool, knowledge right there, means nah, mate, in English. Our Palace sending for Gosha. We're giving it an up because I think it's a banging jacket, though. So now moving on to the shirting, we have the Bolero shirt. And for me, that's a straight down. Kind of reminds me of what Pablo Escobar would be rocking in Narcos. It's not a bit of me, I haven't got that pudding belly. That's why I wear baggy clothes when I hide that in it. So next up we have the Rodeo shirt. Can you give it a down as well? I have one really similar from a couple of seasons ago from Palace. But this one, it's, it's just not a bit of me anymore. It's got like GTX on the back. It's just, just a bit dead. But they are dropping some more knowledge for you. If you're in Los Angeles, the Rodeo Ranch apparently has some banging nachos. Palace always giving you the good information. So next up we have the Roy shirt, it's a half zip and it kind of reminds me of MRC Noir, they're doing big bits in the streetwear scene at the moment. Going to give it an up, got jewel pockets, minimal branding, just nice colorways coming out as well. It's just a nice statement piece for your wardrobe. So moving on to the tracksuits now, we're looking at the Swell tracksuit. <laughs> Dead. Sorry for swearing George, but it's the only way I can describe it. Getting it straight down. Can't remember if this side is down. Sorry if I'm triggering you in the comments. So next up, we have the Pipeline tracksuit. It reminds me of an Adidas collab that they released years ago now. Inspired by the Germany football kits, got the nice piping, nice color blocking. Gonna give that an up, coming in like a red and navy colorway. It's fire, straight up. So now moving on to the polo shirts, we have the J-Stripe crew and it's getting a straight up. Solid blocking and it's got Palace just on the center with a half zip coming down. Kind of reminds me of Fiorucci. Absolutely banging, getting an up. Next up, we have the Law Polo Crew. This is going to be a first for Cop or Drop. It's getting an up and a down. The black one's getting an up, the rest are getting a down. Made from Velour, but the black one's fire. So I'm copping that, but I think the rest are a bit <laughs> Sorry for who's editing this because you've got a lot of up and downs going on at the same time. So, Polo again, the Don Polo. According to Palace, it may be the best Polo they've ever made. I disagree. It's dead. Looks like Pablo Escobar once again. Maybe the Donnies over at Palace have just been watching Narcos. Maybe Levin them man are just like, sweet, I want to be Pablo Escobar. Have some paint on my polo in. <laughs> Down. So next on the agenda, we have the high sweat coming in several colorways again. It's going to get it down. It's got like a high collar on it. Minimal branding, which I'm always about. Granted, I'm wearing a jacket that says Generation F you on it. Sorry for bleeping that out again. But still, it's going to get it down. It's just, just a bit dead. So another sweat, we've got the 320 crew, multiple colorways as per usual, getting a straight up. Reminds me of vintage Adidas. Obviously Palace and Adidas work very closely together. Nice color blocking on the arms, solid piece. The black and white one's fire, instant cop. So if you watch Supreme Cop or Drop before, normally we have a Supreme air horn for the highest of heat. Obviously this is Palace, but that air horn would be going off for the Jenny Sweat and the Jenny Crew Neck. I have the Terminator T, I have the Palazzo T. I love all of these graphic image tees that Palace do. This one's the best one yet. We've got Forrest Gump running with his big beard and shaggy hair like I used to have with a Palace hat on. Fire up. So as we go from our favorite piece to the worst piece, we now have the Plowman's hoodie and tees. I just don't want a big ass sandwich on the back of my tee, to be honest. That's, that's getting it down. <laughs> Sorry, Palace. Sticking with the hoods now, so now we have the Jumbo Triferg. Every single season, the Triferg is gonna be the highest of heat because it's the piece that everyone wants. Makes sense. Iconic logo on the back, 
This time we just got Palace on the front as well as a logo on the back, but it's super sized. We're talking the whole back piece is taken up by the Triferg. I'm going to give it an up. I still prefer the smaller Triferg, but it's a sick piece. Back with t-shirts now, so we have the Palace Jeans t-shirt, but before I get into it, Palace are dropping yet more knowledge for us in this range. Don't trust guys who pluck their eyebrows. That's all they're saying about this tea. Getting an up. I rate the Palace Jeans collection. Come at me. No one else seems to. So last of the teas, we have the U Dorset tea, which has a giant man that is sculpted into a chalk hillside in Dorset, emblazoned on it. He's got a rather large erect penis. It's not really a bit of me. He's holding a palace bag in it though. It's pretty sick, but that's getting it down. Yeah. And then moving on to my favorite part, as always, the accessories. Only one standout piece this season, but it's getting a straight up. The dog collar and the dog chain. F***ing sick. Sorry for swearing. I don't even have a dog anymore and I want to cop it just for like a future dog. Like my future dog needs to be swaggy. My future dog needs to be dressing in that heat and it needs the palace dog chain and dog collar. Getting an up. Anyway, guys, this has been Cop or Drop, the palace edition. Hopefully Supreme will be coming back soon. We just had their teaser image. But make sure you hit that like, share and subscribe button down below and let us know what you want to be copying from Palace SS18. Peace.